between Santiago Ponzinibbio and Carlos Condon. So now the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Way to hide that leg kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Play some leather, let's go, play some leather. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. A swing and a miss by Ponzinibbio. Single collar tie now. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick. Big ball for punch man. Now he gets back to range. Right punches there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Santiago Ponzinibbio. Switching stances here. Miss with that jab attempt there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big kick lands. Spinning back fist. Just over two minutes now to go. Now he touches him with the left. He misses with the right hand. Nice punch there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Throwing that jab, no good. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Starting to show signs of swelling. Right hand on point. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is. Oh! more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Just missed on the front kick there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big power shot there. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Connor. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Just out of range with that left hook. 
15 seconds. Lands to the body there. All right, single collar tie now. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in something. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready? You ready? Second round here. Kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice straight right lance. Real quick leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right on the button. Back to the jab now, no good. Condit's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Counter kick to the body there by Condon. Slips that left hand. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh! Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's done. He's done. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Beautiful strike. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's got a press. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Unbelievable! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 21 seconds of round number two, playing the winner by knockout, Tatiago Chichiboa.